mean nothing to do. She has like Taylor Swift on repeat in there. Alexa, stop. I'm still playing. Alexa, play good music. Alexa, play Taylor Swift's greatest hits. That was a trick, because Taylor Swift doesn't have any greatest hits. Should be silent, should be playing crickets. You know, the only people that listen to Taylor Swift are like angry, bitter, man-hating trolls. She's just so angry. I blame men for this. And you want to know why? Because if half of Hollywood didn't dump her, she'd have no crappy songs to sing about. And she is going to get to the point where she goes through every guy and then she's going to hit up the girls. Lesbians aren't born, they're made. It's because of a man. Look at men, just ruining everything. So yeah, I'm just, I don't know how much longer I can live in a world with so many Taylor Swift songs and fans. I just can't, I can't take it. I can't take it. She's like, uh, she's like one of those people that you just like, you see their face and you want to punch them. James Franco's like that too. I can't, I can't stand him. Ugh, I, ugh, no. So I, I blame men for why I have to listen to Taylor Swift. And it won't even stop. It's like on repeat or something in there. I don't, I don't even know. James Franco. I don't, even, I don't even watch him in anything, so I don't even know why I don't like him. But you know who my favorite person is? So I, I, told, I told my friend Nina, and me and Nina, we share a brain. She's like reading my thoughts. and great minds think like me so anyways one day I came to work and I was like we were talking about food like we always do <laughs> talking about food we want to eat but don't eat and uh, I was like you know who my favorite person is and she's like oh my god that chubby British guy I'm like yes he is so funny like he's just so silly like you can't you just can't help but smile like being around him I would love to go to his show or like be on his show. He, I love his segment he does where he like takes over working somewhere and lets a person go on a break. And he acts like he's an employee and just kind of does whatever he wants. I would love to do that. Like do that Wetzel Pretzel. That would be fun. Because I mean like really, how hard is it to like fuck up at that job? Like. It should be pretty easy. Okay, the, so there's a there's a few things that could happen. Okay, you could burn a pretzel. Well, they take seven minutes to make again. If someone's in a hurry. Fine, give them their three fifty back. I'll just take that out of the tip jar. And in order to get tips, I will say that they are mandatory. I'll be making more money than they do at the club, strip clubs. Like if you want a pretzel, you gotta pay for it register and in the tip jar. You don't know what I'm doing back there with your pretzel. No clue. It's a service. Like you have to tip for everything now. Like even though I get paid like minimum wage. But yeah, okay, so I burn something not to give someone a refund. Or I get a hair in their food and it's like, I have long hair. It, it's gonna happen. But my hair's clean, just eat around it. You should, Pretzel's too many calories anyways. I'm helping you be healthy. You got rid of your craving. Eat around the hair. No problem. Or, you know, like, I don't see this as a problem. But, I mean, if I take a bite out of someone's bagel, they might get a little angry. But if I'm going to be the best pretzel-making chef ever, I have to try the food. I just, I just care about my customers that pay me big tips too much to give them a half-assed pretzel so I have to try it I just have to try it every good chef knows that so there's that 
I mean, there's a good chance I might drop it on the floor. That's okay, let's add more seasoning. No one will know. No one will know. I might get lazy and get tired of eating, or, or eating pretzels. <laughs> yeah, that's why I don't work at 31 flavors. It would quickly turn into 13 flavors if I worked there. I'd be eating everything. But no, if would be eating everything but yeah okay let's say you know by the end of the day I'm just too tired to make pretzels if nobody comes up and buys them they throw them away I'll just take some out of the trash and reheat them no one's gonna know how many times have you started a conversation that that was like you know my day sucks because I had a bad pretzel rarely rarely add some butter on it garlic add more cinnamon or I don't even know what just, just, they're gonna come back they're gonna come back so yeah I would be the best manager there that would be good my ass is really starting to hurt right now it's 